we are. Just about, about to kick off the fourth quarter earnings season and I find myself in a state of limbo in terms of my attitude towards the market. On the one hand, there's this relentless rally that can't be stopped and can't be denied and is the ultimate measure of all investors' performance. On the other hand are what I see as pretty shaky fundamentals. Um, that said, there have been some, some signs of improvement in the last week or so. Um, on Friday, Best Buy reported a 9.3% increase in domestic same-store sales for December. So that's a huge improvement over last year. This year's holiday season at Best Buy was much better than last year's. It's worth knowing. Um, on Thursday, Bed Bath & Beyond, the $11 billion home furnishings retailer, reported a 7.3% same-store sales increase for the quarter ended November 28, 2009. That after five consecutive quarters of declining same-store sales. So again, that's improvement. Um, analysts are expecting a huge, a huge jump in fourth quarter earnings compared to the year ago period, led by a 120% increase in the financial sector earnings and a 30% increase in technology sector earnings. Uh, that's supposed to result in earnings of 1580 for the fourth quarter compared to 562 a share in last year's fourth quarter. Now, all this good news said, um, a lot of this is already reflected in the market, in my opinion. Um, even if earnings come in line with what analysts are expecting, that's going to give us $60 a share in earnings for 2009. Based on today's closing, closing price of the S&P 500 at 1136 that's a trailing multiple of 19. So it's not cheap. It's actually kind of expensive. Uh, same thing for Bed Bath & Beyond. It's trading at 17 and a half times current fiscal year's earnings um, after you back out the cash. So, and that's, after, that's because it's, it's run up 100% in the last 10 months. So it's not cheap anymore. Uh, Best Buy is trading for 13 and a half times last fiscal year's earnings. So again, after a 60% move in shares over the last 10 months, it's not a cheap stock anymore. So for me, um, there, I, I, do, I do see some signs of improvement and stabilization, um, but I don't feel like the move is sustainable. I don't feel like the economic fundamentals are sound. And I feel like the stock market is now you know, pricing all that in. So you know, the, the, main, the main driver of the market over the last, the last especially six, seven months is speculation. Um, in the short term, that always plays a huge role in the market. And I kind of feel like uh, Wallace Stevens, in his poem Sunday Morning, when he wrote, Does ripe fruit never fall? Or do the boughs hang always heavy in that perfect sky?